Good morning, guys. Oh. So today I, I received an email from um, <laughs> someone that's been very uh, supportive and helpful to me in this journey. And I've never felt judged by or uh, pushed, influenced one way or another. Um, I truly have only ever felt uh, what respect and, and acceptance of, you know, my opinions and thoughts from this person, and, uh, <clears throat> they were themselves, like I was for a long time, um, skeptical of, I don't want to say religion or religious aspects, but just giving yourself to Christ and, and accepting that you're a sinner and not letting your pride or envy or anything else stop you from just admitting that. And that's, uh, someone asked me yesterday, oh, you're a believer in Christ, and I'm proud, proud believer. And, uh, strong believer, yes, yes. I believe in Jesus. I believe he was here. I believe you sent here to die for my sins and your sins and everybody else's sins because we can't do it. Only he could and only he did. And I believe it with my spirit, my soul, and my body. Um, and that's all it comes down to, people. It doesn't change who I am as a person other than now I'll live forever. Um, it, it, he inspires me to want to be a better person, but I realize that's not a requirement for me to have eternal life now because I know every sin that I commit has already been paid for through his blood. And that's what it comes down to, people. Not being so prideful to think you can live without sin. Just look at your life. Look... Look at the times you've even tried to do the right thing. Have you ever, has someone ever said, um, do these jeans make my butt look big? <laughs> and you're like, it ain't the jeans that make your butt look big, sweetheart. Your ass is just big. But you don't want to hurt that person's feelings. So you say, no, no. And you lie to them. Now, the person next to you may not think that makes their butt look big, but if you truly think that, but you say no, no, it doesn't, well, then it's a white lie in order to spare someone's feelings, but it's still a lie. You're not telling what you truly feel, what you truly think. And that's just a small example, but it's the smallest example of a sin that's still a sin. And in the eyes of the Lord... Whether you think it's fair or not, just or not, whatever. It, it's no different than stabbing a butcher knife into that person's heart. Same difference. Sin is sin. And once you realize that, you realize you cannot escape it unless you realize it was already paid for. You're on a free roll. As long as you come to realize... That Jesus knew this, knew you would be this. That's why he came and died for you. Because he knew you couldn't do it. You were born of sin. You were born without the spirit of God and have to be reborn or have that born into you. To me, it just felt like coming down to stop denying it, you know. I knew it was there. I felt it for a long time. I, I just didn't recognize exactly maybe what it was or denied it for a long time. And that's all it was, to just finally give up my pride. 
my last ounce of pride and say, you know what, no matter how good a path I try to walk, in this, especially in this world, surrounded by sin and depravity, there's no way. I need help. And Jesus is where I found it. It's so amazing to me, the power, the power of it. Because you can still see to this day, people, intelligent, beautiful, good, good people that I would consider good people, who still deny it, still will fight it, will fight it like it's a trap. Like if you say Jesus was my savior and died for my sins and, and was re-resurrected three days later and came back to life. That, I mean, you people act like you're going to go to hell if you say that. And the, and the the sad, amazing part is that's all you have to say. That's all you have to say. And believe. Not, not just say, but believe. That's all you have to believe. For eternal life. And, and oh, us sinners will refuse. We're too prideful for that. God, there can't be someone that was perfect. Not like me. What? There couldn't have been someone better than me. Well, I believe it. I believe it. I don't try to hide from my sins. I know I've done some dirty shit in this world to people. Way too much. Not even intentionally many times. But if you just look back with an honest, through an honest mirror of your own life, you'll realize you have too. Guess what? You're forgiven. God forgives you. Jesus came here. He forgives you. That's why he paid for your sins. Because he loves you. He forgives you. He just wants you to realize that. That's all you got to do. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. For doing what I, I'm not capable of. And giving me eternal life. I truly believe in you. I thank you for that. I love you and I encourage anybody that is uh, in, st in struggle with the, the demons of this world and, and the sins of this world, trying to figure it all out. I implore you, please just consider. Jesus knew all this would happen. Jesus knew your life before you did. It's the life of a sinner. But it doesn't have to stay that way. The trick is, God gave you the free will to decide, do you want to be saved or not? Do you want to be with him? or not. It's really that simple, people. So God bless you all. Find Jesus. Accept his gift. That's all you gotta do. Just accept his gift of eternal life. How do you accept that gift? You say, I'm a sinner. And I'm, and I'm incapable of making it to heaven without the one that didn't sin, Jesus, that died for my sins. It's that simple. All right, again, praise Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for dying for my sins, for doing what I'm incapable of for me. Thank you. I accept that help. I accept your love. I appreciate it, and I'll... Give love in return. That's all, folks.